This is the newest image mapping feature of Smart Level. First thing we want to do is make sure we have the level and the app connected. You can see as I move the level, you can see the reading changing. Now we're going into our new image mapping. You can see the button at the center of the screen, just below the uh, middle of the screen, right in the center. Now this will take you into your photo album in your iPhone. I'm going to choose one of the images here that we want. Now this was a drone image that we shot earlier of the property that we're, that we're checking. And I'm going to go over to this location. I'm going to zero the level. What I'm going to do is drop the level down right here at this concrete pad. And you can see we zeroed it here. I'm going to go into the text. I'm going to change this to red. And you, you simply set the level down at your starting location. We've made that right beside this concrete pad. Then you line the crosshairs up in your app in the photo, the same location where you have set the level. And you add a reading. We started out with zero here. We're going to walk over to the side right over here. We dropped down about 29 inches or so. We're going to add a reading there. Now, if we have inadvertently put the wrong reading, wrong place, somebody stepped on the tubing or whatever, we've got an undo button. So you hit the undo button if you want to erase that. Then we can adjust it just a little bit if we want to add it again. Now, I'm going to, I'm not going to map the entire area out. You can, you've got a good idea of what we're doing here. We also have, we can scale this. And what I mean by scale is we're going to put in a uh, horizontal distance. Now you can do this with the augmented reality. I've already checked this distance. So I know I put my first dot, drop my first dot if you want to see it right there beside the concrete pad where we started. We're going to go down here and I want to drop my second dot in here. Now I've measured this with the level. I know that it's 35 foot and three quarter inch between these two. So that has given us a scale function. We know how far it is between these two points. Now, once you record all of your readings, as you move around the property, you can set the level down anywhere you, you want to go. We're going to go up here by the, by the house right here. Now, I'm moving the level over to that location. This is going to go up just a little bit here. And we drop that reading in. You can map this entire area out. Now, once you've mapped out the entire property, you go through and save it. I should have put a name with that. Actually, let's, let's, let's save that again. We'll put a name in here. This is Antioch. And I've got other readings here, so I'm going to make this Antioch 9. And you saved that reading. If you want to go back and view it, you just scroll down. Here we are on Antioch 9. Pull it back up, and you can go back and add readings into this if, if you like. So you can save it at any time. Uh, take a break, come back. If you don't have all the readings that you need, you simply pull it back up, go back into it, add more readings. And like anything else in the app, when you get ready, you can send it, email it anywhere you want to go. and it'll ask you the size. And I usually send these in the largest size that gives the most clarity.